Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. If you've seen this channel before, you've probably noticed the dual monitor setup that I like to run on my Windows 11 computer. We thought we would make a quick video just to walk you guys through how to configure dual monitors or multiple monitors on your Windows PC. We'll run briefly through how we're doing the cabling, and then there are a few display settings to cover as well. Before we get started with this video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Your computer build, you might have to do things slightly differently. For example, if you have a dedicated graphics card like I do in this computer, you'll be running your display cables directly from your graphics card. There are hardware components that have integrated graphics, meaning you don't require a separate graphics card to run the displays on your computer. If that's the case, then your display cables will instead be running directly from your motherboard. With that in mind, if you do have a graphics card, again, you'll be running your cables through there, and you're likely going to have one of two options. That's going to be HDMI, like I have here, or DisplayPort. And DisplayPort is very, very similar to HDMI. They both carry audio and video over a digital signal. So put very simply, in this computer, I have a 4070 Ti, that is a GeForce RTX graphics card, and I have two HDMI cables that are plugged into it, and the other two are plugged into these two monitors. So once you're connected, what's the next step? Let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you guys the Windows settings. All right, so I'm in my settings here, and if I click Display, Here's where we're gonna have our monitor options. The first thing we're gonna see is we have our displays as they are recognized by our computer. So if we wanna change the settings for display two, we can click it. Or if I wanna change it for display one, I can click it. And we see this little apply button comes up as well. I can also identify this. And by doing that, we can see the number one pops up there briefly. And the way that I currently have these two monitors configured is to extend these displays. But we actually have multiple options. For example, I can click show only on one. As we can see, that removed the signal from my second monitor, as you'll be able to see from my camera. And I could also revert back to normal. And now my display is extended again. We also have the option to duplicate these displays. Now by clicking that, my mouse will hover over both displays and they are exact carbon copies of each other. Now, in most cases, extending the displays will be the most helpful option because I can use separate windows on each monitor and that's gonna help me to increase my productivity. Below that, we have multiple displays, and here we're gonna get some additional options for multiple displays. So, for example, we can make this our main display. I could make number two my main display if I wanted to. I'm gonna keep number one as my main display because that's how I prefer it. And then we've got some settings where we can remember window locations based on monitor connection, minimize windows when a monitor is disconnected, ease cursor movement between displays. We also have detect other display and connect to a wireless display. Now below that, we're gonna find some color and brightness settings. Here's where you can configure or schedule nightlight if you'd like to, along with color profiles and HDR. Okay, and then we also have scale and resolution settings, orientation. Here we can see on my LG Ultra Gear display, we can see my graphics card. Again, that's connected directly to the display. And then we also have some various settings here. We're also gonna find our refresh rate settings here, which I have set to the max for gaming. So the display settings in the system is basically a one-stop shop for all of the configuration that you would need to do for your monitors. In addition to that, the last thing you may wanna consider is changing the actual settings on your monitors themselves. That process will be different depending on what kind of monitor you have, but you might wanna change things such as your color mode or bit depth, etc. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any suggestions of your own, we strongly encourage you to comment those below. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.